Hello and welcome to Book Brag. I am here today with my co-author Wendy Walker and we are thrilled to welcome Anna Mary McKinnon who is the internationally best-selling author of Sister Dear and You Will Remember Me which is out today. Tell us a little bit about You Will Remember Me. Sure, I'd love to. Uh, here it is. Oh, um, so cover. You Will Remember Me is a another psychological thriller that features a man who wakes up on a beach who doesn't know who he is or where he is or how he got there. Meanwhile, a lady called Lily is looking for her boyfriend, Jack, who went missing after a swim. And another young woman called Maya is searching for her estranged brother who disappeared two years before. But is the man from the beach Jack, Ash, both? or neither. And that's all I'm saying. <laughs> ah, well, you know, I love this book. I was lucky enough to get an early read. Um, so um, just why don't you tell us a little bit about where the idea for it came from? Sure. Um, so a couple of years ago, and you may be, you might be familiar with this story. A couple of years ago, a man from Toronto went missing uh, from a ski hill in Lake Placid. And he showed up about five or six days later in Sacramento. And he couldn't recall how he got there or why he went there, actually. And apparently he hitched a ride on a, on a truck, but the truck driver never came forward. And this gentleman showed up in Sacramento, still in his, in his ski gear, but couldn't remember anything. I think, I think he remembered uh, a phone number, his wife's phone number. Um, and he was safely returned to Toronto and everything worked out and everything was fine. But I remember reading that story and thinking how bizarre and what might happen if you ended up in a place that you'd actually left before or you ended up with people who didn't have your best interests at heart. Uh, and that was the, the, the little gem of an idea that turned into You Will Remember Me. So... Um, obviously, this book deals with amnesia or memory loss and, and all sorts of issues. Is there something that you learned while you were writing the book? <laughs> yes. Writing a main character with amnesia is hard. Um, <laughs> yes. Uh, as you well know, <laughs> Lynn. And I, I, I plotted the book like I'm a very um, methodical plotter, but when I plotted it all out and I was raring to go and I started writing the, the, the point of view character who has amnesia, it hit me all of a sudden that I can't give him any backstory. He can't have a memory. He can't recall anything. And you can't have scene after scene of people sitting him down saying, okay, let me tell you all about your past because it would be boring. So I learned that that is really hard. And as far as I'm concerned, it's author achievement unlocked and I probably won't do it again. <laughs> so now we like to ask you to brag a little bit. It's why we call it book brag. And this is where you get to share your favorite or uh, interest, most interesting review to date that you'd like to tell us about. So sure. unashamedly brag. Okay, I'd love to. So this was from Candice on Goodreads. And she says, full disclosure, I love the way Hannah Mary McKinnon crafts a story. Huge fan of the entirely devious way that Hannah folds twists into her stories in a way that you really, truly don't see coming. Mm. I don't think the woman has written a book I didn't love entirely. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Candice. And I love that. I think that's a brilliant yeah, review. Sorry. So what is one thing that you hope readers will take away from this novel? Um, I honestly, what I really hope when anybody reads any of my novels is that they close the book and they think that was time well spent. Mm -hmm. That is, that is my goal It's to entertain somebody for however many hours they read or, or listen to the book and that they enjoyed the story. And hopefully they'll still think about the characters a couple of days, weeks, maybe even a few months later, and they'll remember them and think, oh, that was twisty. That's yes. that's my aim. So now it's time for the lightning round and where you will ask you some quick questions and give readers a little bit more of a view into your personality. When okay. do you start? 
So are you an introvert or an extrovert? Depends on the situation, both. Um, extrovert when it comes to my work, but if you put me at a birthday party and it's my birthday, oh, that's, oh, I don't like being the center of attention. It's really weird. If it's about my work, that's fine. If, it is, if it's about me, other than this, of course, this is fine. Right. Um, <clears throat> then I'm a bit less comfortable. Favorite cocktail? Oh, uh, nothing beats a gin and tonic with a twist of lime. Oh, okay. Very, very classic. Good. Okay, I wish it was five o'clock because that mm. sounds pretty good. Um, what is your favorite place to write? My favorite place to write has to be the spare bedroom upstairs on a rubbish old laptop and a dodgy Wi-Fi connection because I leave my phone downstairs and I get so much done. It's incredible. Um, so that has to be my favorite place. And I have a view. Biggest pet peeve? People who are rude. That drives me crazy. You know, cutting lines and just general rudeness because being pleasant is free and so much more pleasant. Yes. <laughs> um, do you have a favorite word? Flip flop is my favorite <laughs> word. And I don't know why it just sounds funny. It's just flip flop. It's just, it's just fun to say. I think that's what it, that's what it is. Um, what are you currently binge watching? Younger, the the I'm a bit oh, behind. Oh, isn't that so times. good? Yes, I love that show. It's hilarious. It's so yeah. funny. So and, and because it's set in the publishing world, it yeah. really resonates. Yeah. It, book you read in one night? Uh, the Swap by Robin Harding mm. that came out last uh, last year, and the the cover is um, a bowl with keys in it. And yes, it's exactly what you think. Yeah. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. It's good. I read it. Um, is there a book that you wish you'd written? Well, there's Gone Girl, of course, which which is utopia, um, but also Recipe for a Perfect Wife by Karma Brown. I remember reading that about a year ago and putting it down and thinking, dang it, I wish I'd written that. It was yes. so clever. Dual timeline. Um, it, it was amazing. I, I really, really enjoyed that one yeah. too. Celebrity Crush. Kit Harrington from, from <laughs> Game of Thrones. Um, yeah, so we'd binge watched Game of Thrones, uh, Rob, my husband and I, and, um, oh, this is going to be a spoiler. Something happens to, to Jon Snow, Kit Harrington, that made my husband very happy because he was not necessarily any longer in the show, and then perhaps he was, and uh, now when he came, when Kit Harrington made a reappearance, um, Rob was a little bit sad because I would just swoon at the TV whenever he was on the screen. I can't help it. It's just, he's just pretty. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so if you had to be something other than a writer, what would it be? Another profession. Oh gosh, I think when I was younger, I wanted to be a, um, a policeman or a policewoman or a lawyer. But I think now that I've, and I did neither, I was in, I was in recruitment. Um, I think now if if I were to change professions, I would still do something in publishing. It would have to be in the publishing world. Mm -hmm. I think I'm I'm too entrenched to to leave the the, the world of publishing now. I'd, I'd I'd have to do something mm -hmm. in this area. But I hope I'll just continue to write books. That's that's the plan. Of course. Yes, I'm I have no doubt. Yes. And finally, what fictional character would you most like to have dinner with? John Snow. I know that's good. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Right. Uh, he's a bit young for me, so I'll have to pass on John Snow. Uh, no, actually, I would love to have dinner with Josh from Her Secret Son, one of my books, to a apologize and b make sure he's okay because I put him through hell and I still feel bad about it. He's Aww. okay. Well, this has been so much fun. Thank you for joining us. Yes. Uh, you Will Remember Me is out today on all formats, wherever books are sold and everyone should run out and get a copy uh, or stay in and order a copy or <laughs> download a copy, but get your hands on it somehow. And do you wanna just tell uh, people where they can connect with you on social media or a website or both? Sure, so my website is Hannah Mary McKinnon. Uh, which is also my Instagram and Facebook. And on Twitter, it's Hannah M. 
McKinnon because Mary was just a touch too long. <laughs> well, thank well, congratulations you. on the launch. And, thank uh, you. Yes, we'll look forward to see what you come up with next. Thank you very much. Thanks. Bye. Bye. Bye.